With the first cases of the Omicron variant of COVID popping up in the U.S., the Texas Task Force on Infectious Disease Preparedness and Response met Thursday to discuss trends and next steps. If we see, you know, a lot of mutations in the spike protein, you know, then we always have to consider, you know, is that going to cause issues with, um, you know, vaccine resistance? Although health officials say they're still learning the direct impact of the Omicron variant, the state health department and the Texas task force team are confident in what they do know. DSHS presented a variety of COVID trends, one being a downward trend of hospitalization. We kind of have a little bit of information now about what happens when variants take over other variants. So when we see a lot of these headlines come out Omicron and a lot of concern with Omicron, there's no reason to panic, but there is reason to be vigilant about it. DSHS is tracking half of the five and older population are fully vaccinated in Brazos County and health experts continue to highly encourage vaccinations now more than ever. In Brian, Brittany DeFran, KRHD News. Drug makers are looking into how its medications respond to the Omicron variant. British drug maker Glasgow Smith Klein says its COVID-19 antibody drug appears to be effective against it. The company still plans to test how its drug responds to all mutations of the variant. Meanwhile, competitor Regeneron says its antibody cocktail appears to lose effectiveness against the new variant. Most adults who are already fully vaccinated plan to get their third COVID vaccine. According to a survey by Kaiser Family Foundation, about 60% of fully vaccinated adults have either already received their booster or definitely plan on on getting it. About 20% say they probably or definitely will not get a booster. The survey was conducted before information about the Omicron variant became public. 